the Fauvism art movement followed the post-impressionist movement from 1905 to 1910. Henri Matisse is considered the founding father of this movement after being inspired by Van Gogh's post-impressionist style. Matisse began using color in a way that was very different. He would often use bright colors applied straight from the tube without mixing, which greatly differed from the colors used in the post-impressionist period. When the art was first displayed in 1905, the critics were shocked by the loose brushstrokes and the bright colors. One of the respected critics of the time described them as foves or wild beasts. The idea of fauvism was not about how realistic the painting looked. Rather, it was about the emotion the artist felt while painting the work. These artists focused on expression at an emotion level. Artists would often use colors that were complementary on the color wheel in order to make the colors they used brighter and pop out more. Following the Franco-Persian War, France was going through a period of rebuilding and modernization in the late 1800s. During this period, many of the greatest art and music compositions were made. Post-Impressionism and Fauvism art movements were born. Fauvism preceded and inspired the Cubism art movement. It also inspired many painters such as Marc Chagall, Georges Braque, and Pablo Picasso. Even after 1910, Matisse continued to work on Fauvism and paintings. He once said, I don't paint things, I only paint the difference between things. Other notable Fauvist painters include André Durand, Maurice de Blamont, and Georges Braque. George Brock, along with Picasso, went on to create the Cubism movement. This is the finished product of the Fauvist chair. The chair is painted with loose brushstrokes and bright colors that represent the Fauvist art style. It also includes some of the most famous Fauvist art pieces.